Hello and how are you fellow homesteaders? Uh, it is a great day. It's a chilly day here on the homestead today, but it is really uh, just a day of uh, being grateful for where we're at, what we have. We're excited today and I was reminded uh, either yesterday or the day before that it's great to be here on the farm. It's great to be on 20 acre farms. Uh, Zoe was the one that uh, mentioned that. Hey, it's a good time to be here. And I thought, you know, that's something that I don't necessarily convey always uh, all that often in these videos. And I want to, I want to start doing that <clears throat> because uh, every day uh, might have challenges and things going on, but it is a great day to be a homesteader. It's a great day to be a farmer. Uh, and it's a great day to be here, be alive, and be doing what we're doing, and we're thankful for that. Uh, also, probably another reason why it's such a great day and uh, is really, we have some great news. Um, just uh, some some exciting times here with, with our milk cow, uh, Bell. Kind of a big day today, midnight, who came to us from Russell Farms. He's gonna, he's gonna have to leave today. Um, we're excited to share the great news that he did his job and Belle is pregnant and has been for uh, around four months, three months. So we're really excited to that uh, that worked out well. And this guy, this guy is awesome. He is, He's all buddy, aren't ya? He's a little grumpy. He gets a little grumpy. <laughs> but we'll say goodbye to midnight. We'll say see him next year probably. And uh, hey, thanks for all a job well done, friend. You did good. Oh, look who else is here. Belle, good job to you too. Yeah, we're excited. It's a good time. Good time to be on 20 acre farms. And uh, so it's it's great to, to be able to share that with you as well. It's definitely fall. Uh, it, it feels almost winterish, I guess. And so anyways, uh, that is an amazing time here because you're reaping the harvest. The harvest is coming in. We've worked hard all summer long. Um, and, and here, uh, we have really worked hard because we haven't really been on this particular property all that long. And we're trying to make changes, we're trying to do things that are going to profit the land here, going to profit the farm, and uh, also uh, profit us. And so, big changes all the time, and that kind of has its ups and downs and goods and bads and whatever else. So uh, one of those things that happened is we finished up some chicken tractors. Uh, I, I, I put the build online on how uh, I built ours here. And I just wanna go over some key things that were good and were bad about the short time that we were able to use those. Look at this guy, Sean. You are ready to be a part of this, huh? Anyways, I, I wanted to share some good and some bad on what what is good and bad about those chicken tractors. And they're awesome. One thing is, uh, by the time that I did finish those and complete our chicken tractors, we got chickens in them. And um, we, had to, we had to actually move them. We couldn't leave them in there the whole time because it got, uh, we felt like it was too cold and the amount of feed that we could give them uh, every day to keep their feeders full was really only maintaining them rather than uh, building them up as meat birds. So we've moved them to where they can be warm and uh, where they can be, um, you know, just growing, I guess, more. So, um, and that, that's, that's, what they're, that's what they're here for. Um, you know, they're here to grow and we need to get those guys uh, processed as well 
and that will be coming up and we're thankful we're thankful for that right Sean so yeah um let's go over let's go over some key points of those chicken tractors the good and the bad and how it all worked out this year I think you'll be interested to see what happened there but this year we had two chicken tractors uh, that were in production we had between 25 and 28 meat birds per chicken tractor uh, behind me here is uh, one of them this one here was not finished completely and i'll show you what uh, what wasn't done on it and then the other one that i want to show you uh, really i completed it to uh, the plans and it worked out really well they, they both worked out well but uh, i want to show you what didn't get done on this one here so number one on these doors i never put a spring on there and there is going to be a spring from here to here i never i never actually did that i do have the springs and i had them installed on the one but i never installed it on this one and if uh if you build these put the put the springs so those doors come those doors come shut on their own that's that's a really nice thing to have there i did do the white tarp on on both tractors you can see uh we're we're inside and uh there's a white tarp there now if you look you can't really see but there's nothing in here so what i wanted to try to do is i didn't hang a feeder i didn't put water in the back the automatic water so i had i still had that i still had a pvc feeder in here and i had a big huge uh probably three gallon water in here and every time i had to move this i would come in here i would take the feeder out take the water out and i just wanted to be able to, before i i wanted to have one with it and one without it and really it's it's well worth your time to get the automatic water and the feeder hung so that you don't have to do that so that you can get these guys moved and when they're on fresh green grass you can come in here then with your food and your water and do all that and not get your shoes all nasty and dirty so uh, cleanliness is huge and and in order to do that right and well uh, hang your feeders and get your waters in here and I will definitely have it that way for the next season so behind me here we have chicken tractor number two this guy is completed um, we've got the latch there and also this is the spring that I was telling you about and it just it would hook onto here so that got taken off when we were removing chickens and such but that's gonna close that door that this spring here is gonna close that door for you and make sure that chickens don't get out it, it's, it's a nice it's a nice uh, cheap way of doing that uh, automatic door closer why not you know so in as we come in the in the uh, chicken tractor here um, you can see here the feeder is hung okay and so you're not getting in here and moving a feeder every time you move the tractor feeder is hung you just you just move the tractor ahead and then you would um, come in here after it's on clean grass and you're going to go ahead and fill that feeder in the back you can see the cat in the back there also is the automatic water system and it worked out awesome uh, i know john siskovich is using uh, a five gallon bucket with uh, watering nipples on the bottom and it seems to work awesome for him here's the the five gallon bucket here it's got the pvc running down now the pv the buckets on the outside outside of the chicken tractor we've got the pvc half inch pvc running down the inside of the chicken tractor i use these orange cups and they're dirty now because they're out of use but when they were in use you would just pull you would twist and you would pull those cups off and you could keep them really clean and nice and they never got dirty like this um, 
they were always clean and you could keep fresh clean water in here and then you would always you could just put them and snap them right back on um, and you're ready to go now I had uh, five total for approximately 25 birds uh, in this particular one there was 28 at a time but that's what that's what we're looking at here and the reason why I thought that that water worked so well in this particular uh, instance I guess or whatever is because there was no waste of water so I filled that that uh, five gallon bucket up once a day and they had plenty of water all day long until the next day now that other water they could uh, waste some of it and sometimes one time a day wasn't enough we would have to at night fill it too so it's just something to think about uh, if you're if you're building these and I think the thing with the chicken tractor is think about what is it gonna be think about how can I make these as maintenance free and as easy to use as possible and in order to do that you're gonna want to hang your feeders you're gonna want to make your waters um, here you're gonna want to make those waters as um, secure to the so everything moves together and then when you're on fresh green grass then you're filling things up you're getting that feed to them uh, and and you're not getting in the chicken poop and it's keeping the chickens clean it's keeping the water clean it's just it's a great great way to do it and, and I just really uh, like everything about these chicken tractors uh, seem to really hold up well they're, they're, they they held up to the wind they held up to the weather and I highly recommend uh, these I just thought they they did a really nice job for us and they grew some really great clean chickens and I think that's a that is a struggle is to grow those chickens to where they have fresh clean water all the time and you're keeping the chickens clean uh, and and that's what these uh, were able to do and I just I thought they worked out really well so that's uh, that's the two chicken tractors we'll be building more of these for sure we'll be running more meat birds probably uh, next summer uh, at least if, if we're not using more if we're not building more chicken tractors right away next summer we'll be definitely doing uh, more rounds of meat birds uh, and have at least a couple of uh, meat birds uh, a couple times through so getting getting more out of them uh, and running them all summer long and so that's exciting we have a lot to look forward to already for for next summer um, so I hope that helps you if you if you've taken on the task of building these guys um, or maybe you're saving it for your winter project you know when you have a little bit more time but uh, build them get out there uh, get grow some chickens and uh, you'll love it it'll just be a, a great deal and I hope that this helped uh, and uh, and I hope that uh, as homesteaders you have a really great day and just remember uh, like Zoe said it's a great time to be on the homestead it's a great day to be here at 20 acre farms so thank you so much right midnight Doesn't he just look excited? He's like, hey, it's a good time to be here. <laughs>